Dr. Ergo Speaks. Just imagine what would working and living a pain-free life mean for you? It will mean finding more joy in your work, being more productive on daily basis and doing more in less time as you feel energetic and healthy. Hello, I am Dr. Dipankar and I welcome you to my podcast Dr. Ergo Speaks where I will help you live a pain-free life as I share everything related to good posture, ergonomics and workplace wellness. Having done ergonomic assessments for 200 plus organizations and helping thousands of people achieve higher work-life balance, I am here with my promise of making your work life and workplace healthier and happier. So, let's get started. In today's episode, we will explore the power of play and how it contributes to their physical and cognitive development. So, let's dive in. Play is an essential aspect of a child's life. It not only brings joy and entertainment but also plays a crucial role in their overall development. So, engaging in various forms of play helps children in various ways like develop physical skills, enhance cognitive abilities, build social skills and improve emotional intelligence. So, Parents, please encourage your child to engage in any sort of active play such as running, jumping, climbing, swimming, etc. Because active play promotes physical development, improved coordination, stronger muscles and bones, general awareness and body control. So parents, my humble request, please encourage imaginative play where your child can use their creativity and problem solving skills. You can also provide them with toys, props and materials that stimulate their imagination and encourage storytelling and role playing. This type of play fosters cognitive development, enhanced language and communication skills. Now. Social play is also important for child's development. So you can also encourage them to interact and play with other children whether it's through team sports, group activities or playing at the park. Because social play promotes cooperation, empathy and development of social skills. So make time for unstructured play where children have the freedom to explore, create and make decisions on their own. And unstructured play allows for self-discovery, problem solving, developing a sense of independence, nurturing curiosity and becoming self-directed learners. So remember play is not limited to physical activities. Encourage your child to engage in board games, puzzles, building blocks, art and crafts, and so on and so forth. Now, by recognizing the power of play and providing opportunities for different types of play, we can support our children's physical and cognitive development, foster their creativity, and nurture their social skills. So, thanks for tuning in to Dr. Argo. We'll come back next week on Wednesday. Thank you. Hope you found today's session very useful. If you are looking for more personalized help, drop me a message on Instagram at Dr. Argo. You can also visit my website drdipankar.com to grab my book for millennials at workplace and find some great ergonomic products in the ergo kit link to all are also in the show notes so thank you so much for being here i will meet you in the next episode till then sit well live well the content of this podcast dr ergo speaks is for general informational purposes only and is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice diagnosis or treatment please seek the advice of a physician or other qualified healthcare provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition